007. I'm back on YouTube mix again. Thought I'd stop by today and um, show off my new uh, Ibanez uh, guitar that I bought. Uh, what this is, it's an S470. And this guitar here is the color of ice blue. And it's a really pretty guitar. It looks like, um, I don't know why they didn't call it like cloud blue or something like that, but it's a very nice guitar. Uh, I got this guitar used at uh, the Guitar Center and it comes with the, um, the ZR trim, which is a first for me as well. Um, I, I normally have my, my Ibanez Sabres are vintage, normally 1988 to 1991. Uh, I strayed away from that this time, um, basically because of the, the, the quality of the guitar that uh, I didn't realize um, was made in, uh, by um, uh, Court Guitars in Korea. Uh, I think it was in 2003 that Corp took over um, the Ibanez S guitar and had a production line going for I believe about four or five years. Um, this guitar here is um, it's a wizard neck again, but it's three piece, so there's a couple pieces glued together. But it's made in 2005, this model here, and it has the ZR trim with the uh, flywheel there so you can adjust the, uh, the springs on the back. And it also has a uh, ZPS system, zero point, zero point system, which is kind of like a backstop. Um, basically, it pushes the the trim back in, in tune after you do a dive bomb. But as of right now, I have mine set up as a as a floating trim. Um, they recommend or they tell you just to take off the springs and remove the bar. But um, I don't have to because. The tension on my string, my gauges, my string gauges, which are eights, they don't pull on the um, the, the trim enough to where I have to. Uh, I'm even touching the bar, so as you can see, I'm not even close. So I can leave the bar in there and uh, have it tre um, the trim floating. Uh, it's a five-way switch, and what it does is it splits the uh, the single coil. This is a true single coil pickup. It's not a it's not a stacked humbucker. Okay, so what you have is um, when you get when you get into this position here of two, you're getting that coil with the uh, the humbucker split as well in the four position with the uh, with the neck humbucker. Now these are this is my first endeavor with these pickups. These are INF one, an INF two, and then the IN, INF S one for the single. Uh, they're not bad pickups. Um, I don't plan on changing them. Um, this guitar is pretty much in mint condition. Um, I did a little work on it. Uh, somebody had put in a, a shower a five-way switch. I'm not realizing that it was made for HH configuration. Now this switch here that I've been in house and this guitar is actually um, it's it's made specifically for this guitar and it's um, a proprietary type of switch. So inside in the internal circuitry. Um, allows you to get your um, your, your uh, split coils. Um, not to say you couldn't use another switch, but uh, the one that the person had put in there did not work. So I had to solder that in. Uh, but it's a real nice neck and it's a uh, rosewood fretboard. It's got the reverse S inlays. And this one is um, abalone. I can see the, um, the abalone in it. And it has the AANJ neck, which is a first for me. But it's a nice solid guitar. It's mahogany. Um, I like the tremolo in it, and it's a. It was a. It was a very nice, nice pickup for me for my my uh, my S collection. So, thought I'd bring it in here and show it off. And uh, if you ever get your hands on one of these, go ahead and give it a try. Uh, it's Korean made by Court, 2005, and it's a nice guitar. So. Uh, Thanks for watching and uh, I'll play something and we'll just run it out. So thanks again for watching. Okay, take it easy. Okay.